everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to talk about taking your baby home from the hospital. Obviously it's a bit different um, for us because our baby was in the hospital for three months as she was born three months uh, preterm and it is a bit different than uh, taking home your baby <coughs> after just a couple of days or even just a day in the hospital after giving birth. But I do think that uh, there are lots of things that are basically the same and then there's a few things that are different but uh, I'm just gonna talk about uh, our experience in taking home the baby from the hospital. So basically if you uh, watched our previous videos that you would know um, that um, Yasmin was born three months uh, preterm so we had uh, she spent three months in the hospital and then it was quite a lot of ups and downs in the hospital for us so we were extreme we were waiting to bring her home for a long time and that we were we were super happy when finally the day came and we could finally bring her home so uh, basically, uh, obviously when you, give, when you go to the hospital to give birth and then you take your bag with you and that has everything that you will need um, for your baby, it's a little bit different uh, for us because uh, I just went in to the hospital at uh, seven months uh, not expecting to deliver the baby the same day at seven months pregnant, 28 weeks. Um, so obviously I didn't have a bag packed or anything and um, we basically we needed, we needed to buy everything for her um, in the last few days or the last uh, couple of weeks uh, before she came home and we knew how big she's gonna be when she comes home because um, we need, you need a car seat to take the baby home they not even they did at least in Canada they don't let you go home without a car seat and for her, she wasn't um, five pounds. She didn't actually uh, weigh five pounds. She was very close to five pounds, but she wasn't five pounds when she came home. So we needed a car seat that was for a four pound baby. Um, you can get car seats that are from a, that go from four pounds to all the way to I don't know, um, uh, almost all the way to. Uh, car seat booster but uh, what we were told in the hospital is that for the smaller babies it's just a lot safer to buy a car seat that's just for the first few six months. Um, she grew out of it uh, really really fast but it was so cute to see her when we put her in the car seat and that was for a four pound like it was for a small baby and she basically just disappeared in the car seat. She was, she was so small when we brought her home. I saw her uh, her clothes. Those were obviously a uh, preterm size. So she had, we only had three outfits that were for preterm babies because we are, we were hoping that she's gonna that she's gonna grow them out. Um, but um, but that's something that you have to think of when you give. Uh, when you get ready to take your baby, but you get ready for giving birth and you're buying everything that you need for the baby to come home from the hospital, you need an outfit to bring her home or him. Um, but then you kind of have to know uh, how big is your baby. I, most babies are newborn size, obviously. So everyone needs a car seat. You have to know how big your baby is for the car seat. Everyone needs um, an outfit for the baby to come home in. And uh, for us, as I said, it was a preterm sizing, but for most people, that's going to be newborn. Um, your diapers, you just need diapers. Um, she just, uh, right before we came home, graduated from the preterm diapers into the newborn diapers so thank god <laughs> and there was a size zero newborn diaper fit her uh, i was a bit big but it kind of fit her and uh, we can buy that in the store pretty easily so uh, that was easy but everyone needs diapers for the baby to come home we'll actually most people take the diapers in the hospital in their bag uh, since it's needed as soon as the baby is born us, we, need, we also needed um, a breast milk uh, warmer 
because we had lots of frozen milk when, from the time when she couldn't uh, eat. If your baby is gonna be formula fed, then you obviously need a breast milk uh, warmer machine since it's gonna warm up your formula as well. So for us, we were using it for frozen breast milk as well as for formula to warm up the milk and that was something we needed to get basically the same day uh, we bought it. Hey. And then we brought her home because we knew we were gonna need it. Uh, what else you need is obviously a bed for the baby. Our baby didn't have a nursery because like, we want we, we live in a one bedroom apartment so we just didn't have room for a nursery. Uh, for us that was never really a question. Uh, we knew that she's gonna, uh, the baby and me, we are gonna sleep outside because we have one bedroom apartment outside in the living room until she sleeps through the night. Uh, so she doesn't wake up all the neighbors um, and her dad who has to go to work. So the only thing that we actually needed for her was was a bed and um, the first solution for us wasn't an actual baby bed. Thank God she, I don't think she would have slept in a baby bed. Uh, what we got is a baby box um, that we got for free because they have this program going on in Canada and in BC at least that every family can have a baby box um, and get one for free and it is basically what it sounds like so it's a big box uh, a cardboard box like obviously a really sturdy bo cardboard box and your baby can sleep in it and it is um, I would say half the size of a baby crib a regular baby bed and the baby just feels a lot more secure and snug in a, in a baby box than in a baby bed and also it takes up a lot less room and also you can lift it up and put it wherever you want to which was very useful actually for us um, since we don't have a lot of space in, and we were using the living room as the baby's bedroom so it was easy to put the box away uh, during the day basically um, what I'm trying to summarize here is what you need before you bring your baby home and that is um, um, your a nursery or just a bed for the baby. A breast milk warmer of formula mar uh, warmer is very useful. I think for, for most families, obviously your diapers mm -hmm. and your clothing for the baby. A lot, lots of um, wipes, <laughs> baby wipes, lots of them. Um, you obviously need the towels and. Um, so lots of people actually bathe their babies in a sink. Uh, we did buy a little um, bathtub that we were using um, right from the beginning. Okay, so taking your baby home. As I said, for us it was uh, it was a long time um, in the making. It was three months of um, waiting. Um, wasn't quite three months but almost three months waiting in the hospital to finally take her home and we were just extremely happy when they finally came so um we were not scared or anything we were just extremely um happy we were waiting for this moment for such a long time that there was no um fear or any scaredness uh, of being a new mom at all even though um, for preterm babies, I've read upon blogs that other moms have a lot of fears. I think a lot more fears than uh, for, for a regular mom who just gave birth to a newborn baby. I didn't really go through any of those fears, but I can understand them. So basically, when your baby is hooked up to, to a machine for three months or, or for how long, it doesn't matter if your baby was in the hospital for just a week or anything uh, as a preterm baby. So they, are, they, they constantly monitor their heartbeat, uh, their heart rate, um, their oxygenation level, um, and then uh, their breathing. So they have these sensors hooked up to the baby and uh, so the monitor beeps if any of those uh, drop. And everyone's there, you know, the nurse, nurses are there, you are there, um, and you can uh, give her a pat on the back and then she breathes again. But uh, so a lot of um, families, a lot of mothers with preterm babies, then they are scared that once they take the baby home, the computer is not there um, and the sensors are not there to tell you that your uh, baby is breathing and the heart rate is fine. Well, every baby, every mother is scared that their baby is gonna die, obviously. Um, 
because Sid um, is something that does happen and uh, especially newborn babies are a higher risk uh, of Sid and then preterm babies are even at a higher risk of Sid um, than a, a baby that's a little bit older. But to tell you the truth, we were just so excited to take her home that we didn't really have uh, any of these fears. Um, besides, I mean, I don't think I had more fear than a regular new mom would. Uh, I still did have a tiny bit, but I, I wasn't so scared that she's not going to be hooked up to a machine and then I won't know if her breathing drops uh, um, or her heart rate drops. I wasn't too scared about that. Um, so that I think sums up today's video because I just wanted to talk about uh, what you need um, to take ho uh, your baby home, like what you kind of need to have at home before you take her home. And uh, um, we're gonna continue this video tomorrow and uh, tomorrow we're gonna talk about what happens the few uh, first few couple of days when you take your baby home today bye bye yasmin bye 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 you too